Hey, this is Keeper Welsh with Echolocity. Looking to speak with you today about Smartsheet, specifically sheet summary fields versus reports. Looking to give you an understanding of the value of each of those and when we should be looking to use one versus the other. We're gonna to begin today with sheet summary fields. We're looking at a typical project intake sheet. For those of you who aren't familiar with the concept of an intake sheet, it's essentially a list of projects. Um, and for our purposes here today, I'm gonna to be looking to pull some key metrics off of this sheet. To do that, I'm going to lean on sheet summary fields. If I come over here to my right-hand toolbar, you can see I have my sheet summary field icon, which will open up a new panel where I can add that field. We have the same options as far as column types. If I go ahead and add this, you can see it's created in this side panel. It's important to understand that this column is not gonna show up in the traditional grid, right? It's not gonna populate in sequence with any of these other columns. Um, but we do have the same capabilities, right? So I could come in here and throw in a count if formula to pull the number of projects that have a status of in progress. It gives us that same indication that there is a formula in this field. Our three dots give us all the same options as far as uh, formatting and moving and locking versus deleting. The key difference here between a sheet summary field and a column on the sheet is how we report off of it. And what I mean by that is if I were to come in here and spin up a report, you can see it gives me two options, a row report versus a sheet summary report. Spoiler alert, sheet summary reports is how you report off of those sheet summary fields, right? I already have two of these pulled up. You can see that the row report is the traditional report that's looking at information within the rows of the sheet. I have access to all the columns that exist left to right on that grid, but what I don't have access to is that new sheet summary field. I'm gonna come back here, make sure I save this before I get to my sheet summary report. Pop a quick refresh here. And when I go in to add my columns, you'll be able to see that we have access to that new sheet summary column. This is an important distinction right? The data still exists on the sheet. It's just a question of how we're reporting it. Reports in general are more tailored towards aggregating and summarizing data across multiple sheets, right? A sheet summary field exists on one sheet. It's very good at pulling up metrics and rolling up information from within that one sheet. Whereas a report, um, I'll be looking to use that for more of an aggregated view of multiple sheets. We still have summary capabilities, right? If I were to choose my demo field, you can see we have the ability to count, some average, min and max. But the key difference here, again, is, is the scope of these, these resources, right? A sheet summary field is, is really targeted towards one specific sheet. Yes, we can use cross sheet references and formulas and, and pull in data into those sheet summary fields from a, another sheet. Um, but we're really going to look to a traditional report um, when we're trying to pull data across multiple sheets. In summary, uh, primary use cases again, if I'm looking to pull metrics for a single sheet, I'm going to lean on the sheet summary field. If I'm looking to pull metrics across multiple sheets, I'm going to be using a report. The scope of which reflects that, right? The scope of the sheet summary field is the one sheet. Again, you can use cross sheet references to pull in information from other sheets, um, but really when we're looking to do that, uh, we're gonna wanna use the, the native functionality of reports. Customization, sheet summary fields uh, really can only do the, the pro column properties, right? Is it a text number, date, symbol, etc. Whereas a report, um, you have a lot more um, freedom as far as customization, right? We can choose what sheets are a part of the scope of that report, we can choose what columns are included, and then we can even take it a step further and start grouping the information by key columns and summarizing that information as well. Cross sheet references, we've already spoke about that, right? We can use cross sheet references in the sheet summary fields. Um, reports are really going to give us a lot more capabilities as far as looking across sheets, right? Because we can include multiple sheets in the scope of that report. Dynamic updates. Sheet summary fields are gonna update based on the formula that's in there or, or whatever metric is in the field and is, has changed, or excuse me, changes on the sheet. 
whereas a report is going to give us the ability to make updates to row data across multiple sheets. So that's another key difference, right? Um, even if we're pulling these summary fields into a report, we're really not going to be able to edit any information that exists in the row of the source sheet. Ease of access. Sheet summary fields are viewable in that side panel, right? We saw when we go over to the summary icon, it opens up that standalone panel. Um, reports are a distinct asset, right? They are not a joint, they're not joined to the sheet. Uh, they have their own um, sheet or report ID. They're their own asset. And as far as displaying on a dashboard, um, sheet summary fields can be pulled into a dashboard, but the reports are really going to be better at displaying information on a dashboard. We can use reports um, in a report widget to view the information in the column in grid format, or we can even use a report to fuel a chart, right? Sheet summary fields, again, can be used to fuel a report, so technically you could use a report widget to display sheet summary data on a dashboard, but again, the key difference is are we looking at one sheet versus are we looking at multiple sheets?